I'm the Reverend Newton Dixon. I'm the General Secretary of the Jamaica Council of Churches, and I belong to the African Methodist Episcopal Church. The topic of Bible study number three is satisfying hunger. This Bible study has two main sections, a content section and an application section. The first element of the content section is entitled Transitioning from the Sermon. There are three main points of the sermon. We must satisfy hunger to ensure physical vitality. We must satisfy hunger to restore human dignity. And we must satisfy hunger to affirm social equality and community. And the conclusion of that sermon may be summarized as follows. Let us look for ways to satisfy hunger so that we can retain the vitality and desire for human life, affirm and retain a high value of human dignity, and ensure equality for all. The scripture text is Exodus 16, verses 1 through 21, and Psalm 107, verses 8 and 9. Here are the learning objectives of this Bible study that the congregation will be able to explain the importance of nutritious foods and that the congregation will practice healthy eating. The materials needed will be PowerPoint presentation equipment, a laptop, and the Bible. The introduction to this study is this. Our diet is a part of our culture. Our collective historical and social experiences have developed the cuisine and the appetites for the foods we consume. The text is to be understood, and so we provide a brief exposition, which may be summarized as follows. Israel had just left Egypt, the land of their oppression, for 400 years, and were now in the wilderness on their way to the promised land. However, they grumbled first about water and then about food. This prompted God to introduce a new regime for food production, and that satisfied the people's hunger. Activity one is to invite the participants to watch a YouTube video, which is provided. The participants will be encouraged to watch another video, which relates to the reading of food labels to discern what foods are healthy for consumption. Thereafter, the study will be concluded and completed with a ritual prayer 